100,000 years ago, at least six different species of humans inhabited Earth. Yet today, there is only one Homo sapiens. What happened to the others, and what may happen to us? Being humans generate thoughts like, you could never convince a monkey to give you a banana by promising him limitless bananas after death in monkey heaven. Or, happiness begins within. Money, social status, plastic surgery, beautiful houses, powerful positions, none of these will bring you happiness. And, evolution has made Homo sapiens, like other social mammals, a xenophobic creature. Sapiens instinctively divide humanity into two parts, we and they. Lucking into history, how did we, a species that started as insignificant hunter-gatherers, become the dominant force on Earth? Yuval Noah Harari, a history professor at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem in his book, Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind, tackles this questions and thoughts head-on with this history nonfiction psychology first published in 2011. Hello, welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries bringing literature to life one summary at the time. So grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Harari, this history professor, masterfully blends history, biology, anthropology, and economics to paint a captivating portrait of humanity's journey. He argues that our unique cognitive abilities, particularly our capacity for language and abstract thought, allowed us to create shared myths, religions, and ideologies. These imagined realities, Harari contends, enabled us to cooperate in unprecedented numbers, ultimately leading to our dominance over other species and the planet itself. Sapiens isn't just a history book, it's a mirror reflecting our past, present, and potential future. One of Harari's most compelling arguments is the power of shared myths. These myths are not just stories but powerful tools that shape our societies and our interactions. He argues that our ability to believe in things that don't physically exist, like gods, nations, or corporations, has been crucial to our success. These beliefs have allowed us to build complex social structures and cooperate on a massive scale. Large numbers of strangers can cooperate successfully by believing in common myths, he writes. Think about it. Without these shared beliefs, organizing large groups of people would be nearly impossible. Religions unite millions under a shared faith. This shared faith provides a sense of community and belonging, bringing people together in ways that transcend individual differences. Nations inspire loyalty and sacrifice. The idea of a nation gives people a sense of identity and purpose, motivating them to work towards common goals. Corporations drive global economies, creating jobs and fostering innovation. These are all examples of imagined realities that shape our world. They influence our decisions, our actions, and our relationships with others. These shared beliefs, while intangible, have very real consequences, for better or worse. They can unite us or divide us, inspire us to greatness or lead us to conflict. Understanding the power of these myths is key to understanding human history and society. Harari doesn't shy away from the less flattering aspects of our history. He details the extinction of other human species like the Neanderthals, likely caused by competition with our own ancestors. He explores the brutal realities of empires, conquests, and slavery, all fueled by our unique capacity for cooperation and, sadly, violence. History's choices are not made between good and bad, but between bad and worse, Harari reminds us. This unflinching honesty is what makes Sapiens so thought-provoking. The agricultural revolution, often hailed as a leap forward, is presented by Harari as a double-edged sword. While it led to settled life and increased food production, it also ushered in an era of hard labor, social hierarchy, and environmental degradation. The agricultural revolution was history's biggest fraud, Harari argues provocatively. He suggests that hunter-gatherers, contrary to popular belief, may have enjoyed more leisure time and a more diverse diet than early farmers. This challenges our assumptions about progress and forces us to question the true costs of civilization. Harari explores the rise of money as a unifying force, enabling trade and cooperation on an unprecedented scale. He traces the evolution of economic systems, from barter to coinage to credit, highlighting how these systems have shaped human interactions and power structures. Money is the most universal and most efficient system of mutual trust ever devised, he writes. It transcends cultural and linguistic barriers, facilitating complex transactions and fueling global trade. However, Harari also cautions against the potential pitfalls of unchecked capitalism and the pursuit of wealth as the ultimate goal. The rise and fall of empires form a recurring theme in Sapiens. Harari argues that empires, while often brutal, played a crucial role in spreading ideas, technologies, and cultures. 
He explores the Roman Empire, the Mongol Empire, and the British Empire, among others, analyzing their lasting impacts on language, law, and social structures. Empires have been the world's most common form of political organization for the last 2,500 years, Harari writes. Understanding their dynamics, he suggests, is essential for understanding the world we live in today. In the final chapters of his groundbreaking work, Harari turns his attention to the scientific revolution and its profound implications for the future of humanity. This period, marked by rapid advancements in scientific knowledge and technological innovation, has fundamentally altered our understanding of the world and our place in it. He argues that science, coupled with our growing understanding of biology and technology, has given us unprecedented power to manipulate the very building blocks of life. From the discovery of DNA to the development of CRISPR technology, we now possess the tools to edit genes and potentially eradicate genetic diseases. Harari explores the ethical dilemmas posed by artificial intelligence, genetic engineering, and the potential for human enhancement. These technologies offer incredible possibilities but also come with significant risks and moral questions. How far should we go in altering our own biology? What are the consequences of creating superintelligent machines? We are now beginning to break the laws of natural selection, Harari warns, as we take control of our own evolution. This shift could lead to a new era where humans are no longer subject to the same biological constraints that have governed life for millions of years, and are on the verge of becoming gods. This newfound power brings with it a heavy responsibility. The choices we make today will shape the future of our species and the planet. This raises profound questions about our future and the kind of world we want to create. Will we use our technological prowess to build a utopia, or will we succumb to the darker aspects of human nature? The answers to these questions will determine the trajectory of human civilization for generations to come. Sapiens leaves us with more questions than answers, which is precisely its strength. It challenges our understanding of who we are and where we come from. It forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about our past, grapple with the complexities of the present, and contemplate the endless possibilities of the future. Are we still evolving? This question isn't just about biology, it's about culture, technology, and society as well. What will Homo sapiens look like in 1,000 years? 10,000 years? Will we even recognize ourselves, or will we have transformed into something entirely new? The rapid pace of technological advancement suggests that our evolution is far from over. Harari doesn't claim to have all the answers, but he provides a framework for asking the right questions, questions that are more relevant now than ever before. In a world where artificial intelligence, genetic engineering, and climate change are reshaping our reality, these questions take on new urgency. Sapiens is a must-read for anyone who has ever wondered about the origins of our species and the trajectory of our future. It delves into the very essence of what it means to be human, exploring our past achievements and future potential. It's a book that will stay with you long after you've finished reading it, prompting you to see the world and humanity in a whole new light. It encourages us to think deeply about our place in the universe and the legacy we will leave behind. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are encourage us to create more summaries. Any comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.